My name is Fabio Rossi. I am co-owner of Elementary Rossi as well, Rossi Chiria, along with my brothers, Roberto Morrow. When we took on this project, we really made a decision to take Rossi's to the next level. We built this place to be able to do whatever we wanted to do. The fact that we're sitting on a commissary kitchen that can service 2,000 people in one event, no problem. The amount of equipment that we have is because we wanted to be able to put out such good food. And that's the goal here is to put out really, really good food. This location is different from the original Clover location in that it's more technology focused. Here obviously you walk in the front door and you're, you see a wall of kiosks. That is very intentional. Some people like it, some people don't. Being that our menu here is ridiculously huge um, and there's just no logical, easy way to present the entire menu on a wall to customers and have them not just glaze over and shock and not be able to know what to do. You know, the people see the surface, the top level, and maybe think that they understand how things work. But there is, you know, and, and the food is, you know, relatively simple. I mean, we make sandwiches, and that's kind of what we're known for, right? But everything that goes into the sandwich has a lot of forethought and effort that goes into that. I mean, making our bread takes days. Figuring out exactly what meat we're going to do, what, how we're going to bread our chicken, what, how we source our chicken, how we bread the chicken, all that kind of thing goes into it. So there's a lot of extra work that goes in. I think that one of the things that will be good about you know, getting this message out is that people will get a better understanding and a better idea of what's going on and how much we care about everything that we do and how much goes into the simple food that we put out. But it's, it's not simple. Alimentari is a one-stop shop for your Italian goods and even just just your, your everyday stuff that, at least from a boutique specialty standpoint, so you can come and buy all of your deli meats and cheeses and breads, uh, pastas. We make pastas in-house. We offer our, an artisanal dry pasta. Um, you know, pasta is one of those things, unfortunately, that gets very easily bastardized and people think of it as a very, you know, it's cheap you know, kind of like bread, uh, but it's not. It's a beautiful product and it makes a massive difference when it's done well. We use almost exclusively DOP products. Uh, DOP products are a kind of Appalachian controlled product, so for example, Parmigiano Reggiano is a cheese that comes from a specific location in Italy that's, you know, the cows are sped a specific diet, they're milked a specific way, age is made, the cheese is made and aged a specific way. So these ingredients are all real. To me, the magic of the sandwiches are there. We really care about every single aspect um, and we don't cut any corners. We built this place to be able to do whatever we wanted to do. Uh, we have two ovens that we brought over from Italy and from France just to bake our bread because that was the right way to bake our bread and that's why we purchased those items. I think that's the fun of this place is saying, hey, what do you want to do? I already know I have the resources to be able to do that. So it is fun, it is. We'd love to see Rossi's be a staple, not just in Dutchess County, but beyond. So we'll start with that, but for sure, very, very high, high dreams for Rossi's, yeah. Thank you.